Hey y'all, welcome back to Who's Your Mama, Who's Your Girl. My name is Lily and today we're going to be making a caramel banana cream pie out of our lovely Who's Your Mama book of pie. Um, it has been <laughs> a really hard week, y'all. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really tough week. Um, but you know what? Everything's gonna be good because we're gonna make pie and pie's happy, so we're celebrating good times ahead. Yeah. I'll probably have a little sit down with y'all in a little bit. Hmm. But you know what? Things are gonna be good, because we're gonna make caramel banana cream pie, and that sounds really good. I've never actually had a banana cream pie. So of course we're just gonna go all in with the hard one first, because welcome to my life. Okay, so let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, we are going to go ahead and place our, uh, we're gonna go ahead and place our un flavored powdered gelatin in half a cup of milk. Just kind of moving it around because I was supposed to sprinkle it over the milk and I can't read directions. But um, yeah, so we're going to let that sit for 10 minutes and hope that something good comes out of that. Um, and then we're also going to take a little bowl of ice water that we have here. It's got half a cup of ice water and we're going to go ahead and put our leaf gelatin. You all know my fave leaf gelatin. We love, we stand, maybe. <laughs> we stand some scissors. There we go, now we stand. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put both of these off to the side, because they're gonna sit for 10 minutes. Totally. Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna sit for 10 minutes, and that's cool. While those are sitting, we're gonna go ahead and get out our medium saucepan. sugar. All right, so our next step is we are going to take our sugar mixture, which is just, just sugar. We're just going to take our sugar and put it on our burner. We're going to turn our burner up to medium high heat. Yeah, medium high heat. Stirring occasionally until the sugar turns brown. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And then once it is brown, we're going to carefully break up the remaining lumps of sugar. And then we're going to continue cooking until the melted sugar turns dark amber and just begins to smoke. And then we're going to start adding in our milk. So yeah, I think the best way to do this is for me to uh, catch back up with you once we've added in our milk and we've kind of gotten it to like an okay circumstance. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, Godspeed, let's hope I don't burn the sugar. See you soon. All right, y'all, so we're back. We're slowly pouring our milk in. It's pretty fun. Our little sugar buddies get real excited. But we're getting them calm. Yeah, good boys, okay. Hard to stir. Okay. All right, so that's looking pretty cute, honestly. You can't really see the color from this angle, 
So I'll hold you out for a second once I dump the rest of this in. <laughs> it's got a very nice caramel color to it. is looking pretty good. I'm going to go on ahead and yeah, you can kind of see we do have some of those harder bits that did get attached to our little stirrer. That's okay. We're going to go ahead put this in our sink. I'm going to go ahead and grab that milk mixture with the gelatin from earlier and grab one of our little whisks because it's time to pour this in and whisk it up. Before I do that, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Do, 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 do. That was pretty good, right? Pretty cool. Sorry, that was weird. You're on a tripod still. So, okay. Slowly pour in the milk gelatin mixture, whisking constantly until the powdered gelatin is dissolved. Okay, here we go. until gelatin is dissolved. Okay, we still got some chunks. <laughs> so we'll keep on going. I know I'm out of frame, but that's okay. So this is a really weird angle. But that's also okay. We're learning. Okay. See if I can catch any of the others. Oh, there we go. Coolio. Outside of that, we're looking pretty smooth and dissolved. Just doing maybe one really good mix up. Hit the sides, just checking in on everybody. We look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna let this come to a bit of a boil. Um, meanwhile, I'm gonna get some other stuff. I'm sorry, I'm totally out of frame, I'm just talking. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna get some other stuff ready. I'm just gonna move you. I'm gonna get some other stuff ready um, and I'll see you back here snapping. Hold on. I'll see you back here. All right, y'all. So we're just kind of going to go for it. In this big mixer bowl here, we have our eggs and our sugar and our cornstarch. Um, our thing has kind of come to a boil on the sides. I'm going to say it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to put this on the non-hot burner while I whisk this up because guess what? It's going to hopefully fit all right back in there, which is always the fun part. Welcome to college. I only have certain size pots. Ah, okay. We're going to try our best. It's looking real pretty, though. I'll give it that. You know, every time I do this, and then I read, gradually whisk in the hot mixture, and I never gradually whisk it in, that might actually mess me up for this one. We'll find out. Because there's a hell of a lot of bubbly, bubble stuff. Okay. I'm going to come, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm scared. 
gonna pour this back into the pot and then we're going to um, whisk it until it starts thickening and comes to a boil and we mix whisk it for two minutes at a boil then we remove it from heat so I'll meet you back once we have a thickened filling please God we'll, we'll find out okay see you soon all right y'all so I don't know how if you can see this but it looks so good it's gotten so thick I'm really excited about it um so that's great we're gonna go ahead this is really hot I'm gonna put down thing that I had under it earlier and put that down here um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and we've removed obviously we've removed it from the heat so we're gonna go ahead and add in our leaf gelatin first we gotta take it out of the bowl let go we gotta wring out the water it's so scientific <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and plop that in there and whisk it in. Leaf gelatin, honestly, has been super fun to work with. I really like it. Wasn't sure that I would, but you know, it's growing on me, you know? Okay. Awesome. Mm, that looks and smells so good. Okay. So that's all incorporated, because again, this is soups hot. We're gonna go ahead and whisk in our two tablespoons of butter and our vanilla paste. Let me figure out which of these actually has two teaspoons or if they're both about a teaspoon. This one should be two, so we're gonna start with this one. And I chop it up a little bit. That's insane. We love. Okay. I'm glad he put this back. And we're gonna go ahead and pour out. Am I reading that right? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna pour out our vanilla paste. We're going to pour it through a mesh strainer and then basically put it in the fridge for two hours. So uh, I'll see you when we get back. All right, guys. So as you can see by the change of light and my change of outfit, it is much later. Um, but we're here. We are ready to take on the next step. So while we were, while I was, yeah, we waited those two hours and then I um, added in our heavy cream. I whipped it up and added that into our filling. So that has been chilling for the little bit, whatever. And now we have our caramel sauce to make. So we have our sugar in our pot here that uh, we aren't stirring. We are waiting for it to melt around the sides on medium high heat. And yeah, that's where we're at. So fun times. Um, <clears throat> yeah so basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait um, until the sides of it start to like the sides of the not the sides of the pan the sides of the sugar on the sides of the pan start to melt and then we're gonna be able to stir it it's a handy dandy wooden thing that we used earlier I don't know what to call this you know, because it's not a spoon, it's kind of a spatula, but also not really. 
If you know, let me know. Obviously, I'm a very smart baker here, and I know technical terms for things. It's fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. You can see Zach is in the back working on his homework. Let's get him back there. Hi, Zach. Hi. Hi, Zach. Okay. Don't touch it, Lily. Wait until it melts. I hate this. I hate waiting on things to melt, especially sugar, because it takes so long. And this oven stresses me out. Have I have I expressed that yet? Have I expressed how much this oven stresses me out? Because it stresses me out. <sighs> oh, I am so sorry. My throat is being real weird right now. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know I'm touching it, I'm breaking the roll out there. I'm not touching the sides, I'm just touching the middle. So, it's about time to change up my quote board, so if you have any ideas for quotes, let me know. Right now it has, if you've seen it, I don't know if you've seen it in the background of my videos, it's kind of far away usually, but um, <clears throat> while we're waiting, pull it down. It's cute, you can't read it because it's backwards, forgot about that. Um, but it says, it's your year, don't F it up, which was a quote my mom said to me and two of my really close friends who are also seniors this year uh, while we were moving in. Love you, mom. My biggest supporter, don't F it up. <laughs> but hey, we'll take it, right? But yeah, if y'all have any ideas, I'll take them. Okay, so it is starting to melt, yay. Gently stir, then turn heat down to medium. All right, so we're just gonna gently say to do, to do. Okay, so we're stirring. We're having a good time stirring. stir then turn heat down to medium so we're gonna go down to medium continue to cook until a puddle of melted sugar forms in the middle of the pan so I'm gonna assume that means that we keep stirring while we cook it down isn't this so fun so I make I have my, one of my favorite recipes that involves caramel is a recipe for homemade caramel icing that has been in my family for quite a while. It's a favorite at birthdays. We always make chocolate cake with caramel icing. It is so good. Um, but I always have butter in the pan first and then I put in my sugar. And so this method of just having the sugar has been really like freaking me out because I'm not used to it but you know I'm kind of I'm kind of a fan of it we'll see we'll see how it stacks up it does give you a really pretty color but also it stresses me out because I don't want to burn sugar because that smell it lingers It's still really chunky, so we're gonna keep trying to break up those chunks just like we did earlier with our caramel filling, caramel pastry cream. We're gonna use the correct term. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just thought of something that would be a really good pie. busy. 
but I thought of something that would be a really good pie. What about like a turtle sundae pie? That's good. Right? Because I could do, I could have the caramel pastry cream, which is what we're doing for this, and then I could put chocolate ganache with it, and then pecans. Right? Let me know if you're interested, y'all, because I think that would be really good. I'll go on the list. Because, <laughs> you know, we got to follow up that AL8 pie. I need to make that again for people up here. I keep saying that, and I keep not making it. First, I need to find a place that sells AL8 here. I know there's one downtown, because I've been there before, but I'd rather not drive all the way downtown. Says the girl who literally drove halfway across town to find Rosewater like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago. I don't know. It was a while ago. Oh, we're almost there, y'all. It's looking really good. Only problem with baking in here. Oh, wait, I have this light. <laughs> Did you all see that? That was great. I went to turn on the light and I didn't turn on. Nice. We love Campus Housing. Also, we love the emergency procedures up here in the corner. Taped up with zebra duct tape. It's quite nice. Okay, so that is looking really good. Mm -mm. Y'all aren't gonna be able to see it because it's very dark. Oh, you can't really see it, but like, look at that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to take it down. Again, we're gonna take it down low. And I'm gonna reach over here and grab my measuring cup that I need so that I can keep stirring. And now I have to stop stirring so I can open the heavy cream. Oh, it's fine, everything's fine. So, to start with, we're just going to add a little bit of heavy cream now that we've got it on low. Turn the heat down low. Immediately pour two tablespoons of cream into the melted sugar. Okay, well, and it's going to bubble up and act angry. Yes, I know, I know, I know. You're angry. I get it. We're, we get it. We're all on the same page here, buddy. And we're gonna hit it again. Yeah, you're, you're real angry, okay? We're cool, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. You're really clumpy, okay? We're gonna keep going. It's Jesus Christ. Come on, buddy. In. I'll like pour another one. All right, that one went in a little easier, as they do. You know, they get simpler with time. Ooh, she getting thick. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I just thought it was funny. Don't laugh at me. Ooh, she getting thick. Everybody's gonna say Lily's on the improv team now. She thinks she's funny. I know I'm not funny. funny. I'm not funny. You are. We had our first improv show last night. That was originally what this pie was gonna be for. And then, as I said earlier, shit hit the fan, but it's fine. It's fine, we're gonna add a little cream. Go, go, go. It looks so cool when you add it in because it looks like, um, you know, it lo like I feel like I'm a barista. It like makes a little pattern and I feel so cool. And then I'm like, Lily, you're literally not cool.
going in for the first slice. We'll see if it did what it was supposed to do. Oh my god, very crumbly. Zoom in on the mess up. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. First slice. This is a really big one. I never cut them this big. Oh, it's so satisfying. Ooh. That was a pretty first slice. Yeah. Didn't get all the good. stuff in there, but looked pretty good. Yeah. Looks like it was Close enough. Too big for me. I know. I'm like, this is huge. Would you take it? Yeah. Do you want more than one fork? Or cool you if we <laughs> film our reaction. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, try. Yeah. How dare you film me? I'm kidding. I don't care. No, I didn't get rid of extra. <laughs> awesome lizard. That's delicious. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Really, I love you. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad. I have really high hopes for this one. I'm like terrified. <laughs> it's going to be great. Everyone has such tough. high hopes for this, and I'm so scared. It's going to be it's great. It's amazing. Like, I too want this to be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Just a really made pie. I get some of everything. Oh yeah. Try a little bit of it all. This is my favorite one yet. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try some? Yes. Keep